Hi there, welcome back to DSR Ghostwriting on YouTube and LinkedIn. My name is Daniel Rosal. I'm a freelance writer, ghostwriter, and marketing consultant based in Jerusalem. So I want to talk today a little bit about blogs. Blogs um, are kind of the quintessential thing that people think about um, when they think about content marketing and the classic format for content marketing. So I just want to talk about what a blog is um, and just one pro and one con of blog writing. So blogs basically are web blogs. Um, that's the really old uh, shortened, shortened version of them. Um, and they're basically typically fairly short posts that you can post on your website. Um, these days, most people are using a content management system such as WordPress, uh, Joomla or Drupal um, in order to create their blog posts. So you don't need to go into a HTML editor anymore in order to create one of these things. What you do need if you're creating a blog, it's good to have some imagery. Um, so whether you have an internal bank of imagery or you've access to a stock library, both of those can be really useful um, if you're trying to create uh, compelling blog content as well as some graphical elements, data visualizations, um, anything interactive can make the blog more interesting for readers. Um, in terms of lengths, people tend to go for various lengths. There are some um, SEO practitioners who will argue that 2000 words or above is a better length. Some people will argue for 800 to 1000. Those are two lengths I commonly get briefs for um, as a freelance writer. So the um, in terms of blogs, I mean, I think the main advantage of a blog is that if you're doing content marketing, and SEO and you're looking for an e relatively easy format to produce to get lots of keywords in there, um, I think the blog's a great format. They don't take a ton of time to produce um, and you know, given the fickle attention spans of people on the internet, I think you can deliver just enough information in the, in the course of a blog to keep somebody's attention. So if you're looking at producing a content marketing calendar, um, an editorial calendar for your content marketing, um, blogs are uh, definitely a great thing to do. The negative of a blog really um, is that firstly, they're, they're like everything, um, everything else um, on the internet, uh, minus audio and video, they are textual assets. Uh, so you have to remember that people tend to skim rather than read on the internet. That includes blogs. So your kind of subheadings and your headings are particularly important. And just remember that not everything you get in there is actually going to be read by your target audience. Um, the second uh, con about blogs really to point out is that they are, um, there's a lot of them going around on the internet and it's kind of noisy, uh, noisy to cut through all that basically. Um, and if you're looking to expand upon your ideas, white papers offer more, um, a longer format in order to really get across what you have to say. So if you're, you know, if you're talking about a technical point uh, that's intended as part of a B2B uh, marketing funnel, then a white paper might actually be a better choice than a blog, depending on how much content uh, you have to get across. That's basically the pros and cons of blogging, or at least a couple of them. Um, if you're interested in learning more um, about content marketing and thought leadership, please feel free to check out my website. That's dsrghostwriting.com. There's a newsletter there, and you can also follow DSR Ghostwriting both on YouTube and on LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching.